So in this video, what I wanna do is give you all 10 tips, shortcuts, or just things I use frequently in DaVinci Resolve. And a lot of this, I did not know when I first started using DaVinci, but if I did, it would have saved me a bunch of time. I don't want this video to be super long, so let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So the first thing I wanna show you is how to easily change your footage to slow motion. Now, the first thing you wanna do is when you're filming, film it in a frame rate higher than 24. In this case, we have a clip that's 60 frames per second. And once you bring that in and open your timeline, you wanna go ahead and make sure your timeline frame rate is set to 24 or 23.976. So once that's good, you'll come to your clip, right click it, clip attributes, and change the video frame rate to whatever the timeline is. Hit OK. And once you bring that in, you'll see that it is in slow motion. And you can also select multiple clips, right click it and do it all at once. Next, if you have linked clips, for example, we have video and audio, but you only wanted to select one of these, instead of unlinking the clips, you can go ahead and hold down option and select the one you want. I believe for Windows, this is Alt or Control. To quickly add a fade in or fade out, you can hit the beginning or the end of a clip and you'll see kind of like a green glow coming from either side. Hit Command T and that'll add that in. If you hit anywhere else on the clip, like right here in the middle, hit Command T, it'll add both the fade in and the fade out. If you have two clips side by side like this, hit right there in the middle, Command T, it'll add a fade transition. Let's say you wanted to adjust any of these values, but when you scrub, it's kind of going too fast. You can hold down Option and then scrub, and it'll give you a more fine adjustment. This next one is something that probably should have been obvious, but I didn't know it until recently. But let's say you wanted to stabilize all of these clips. Now, instead of clicking one at a time, coming to stabilization and setting that up, you can highlight all of them, then come to the stabilization, set it up how you want, hit stabilize, and it'll do all of the clips at once. This next one was one of the most annoying things before I found the fix. But let's say you have your clip, you add stabilization to it, and then come over to the color tab, make some adjustments, but then you come back here and it's no longer stabilized. You have to redo it. To fix that, come back to the color tab and in this first tab right here, you wanna make sure this is set to color. I think by default, it's set to all. Make sure it's set to color. And I believe this saves for your future projects as well. For this next one, you'll need a mouse that has a clickable scroll wheel. So let's say you wanted to copy the grade from one clip to another one. The way to quickly do that is to select the clip that you wanna to copy to, come back to the first one and hit the scroll wheel button and it'll quickly copy that over. You can also select multiple clips by holding down command, selecting the clips and then hitting the middle mouse button and it'll add it to all the clips you selected. If you apply a grade to an adjustment clip, everything below it in the timeline will be affected. So if we come over to effects, type in adjustment, drag that in, come to the color tab. Everything I do to this adjustment clip will be reflected to these other clips. So if I just adjust contrast, saturation, Come back to the edit tab. Since these clips are below the adjustment clip, they're getting hit with that grade. If I mute this, you can see the before and after. If you have multiple audio clips that need the same effects, instead of coming in and adding it to every single one, just make sure they're all on the same track. Come down to Fairlight and this is A1. A1 right here. Everything I do here will be added to this audio track. 
And you can add in effects by coming to effects right here, hit the plus sign and select the one you want. For the last one, I'm gonna show you how to quickly sync audio to a video. And I actually made a video specifically about this before and I'll link that down below. But the quick explanation is you wanna come over to the cut tab, select the clip and also the audio file. Hit this button right here. Make sure this audio icon is selected. Hit sync. It'll work its magic and it'll line up where it finds um, a match for the audio. Hit save sync. Come back to the edit tab and you'll see that it created this media sync file. So go ahead and drag this down to your timeline. And if you hold down option and select the audio, right click it, switch multicam clip angle. This is where you switch between the clips audio and the audio that you're syncing with it. And so this will be good for music videos. Like if you have performance shots, this is quicker than going through and trying to match each one exactly. You can select all the performance shots, select the audio, sync it, and then just quickly switch between those clips. This is also good for videos like this one where I'm recording external audio. I can do this method and save myself a bunch of time in post. Hopefully you found something helpful in here. I know some of these might be more simplistic, but I wanted to put together a list of things that I use most frequently in DaVinci Resolve. Do me a favor though, if you found this helpful, subscribe to the channel and also drop this video a like. I'm gonna get up out of here. I appreciate y'all watching and checking this out and I will see y'all real soon in my next one. Peace.